Hello my lovelies, I hope whenever you're watching this you are having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your daily tarot card reading. This is for all signs, so please take the energy that resonates. If it doesn't resonate, then please leave it where it is for another day. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe and the notification bell and it will notify you every single time we upload a video and it will also really help my channel grow. So card has already fallen out. Um, this is the Rebel card, so there will be some swear words just to give you a heads up in case you've got little ears around anywhere. Okay, so the card is, you are going through some tough shit. And on the back of the card, everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Isn't that the truth? We all have to go through things. I know some people are like, oh, I know, but I don't want to, everyone don't want to do it, but... We all have to go through some really tough times. Um, sometimes the tough times just seem to come all at once and then you're left with the mess. Um, I wanna say, this is what I wanna say, so I'm sorry if it offends anyone, but it's time to put your big girl pants on and start handling the stuff you need to handle. Deal with the rest of it afterwards, but right now just handle the shit that you need to handle. Get it to a point where you can come to terms with it that you can kind of figure it all out and then you deal with the emotions afterwards but right now you need to deal with some shit that's going on in your life okay I don't know how people feel about that that's just a message that I received we got the seven of wands the seven of wands is all about you being defensive you can, I feel that you've got someone in your family that you need to defend there's something going there's something happening in your family right now that you need to defend yourself and you need to defend somebody that you love. The energy I'm getting is a child. You need to defend a child. I've got a teenage boy in my mind, but might be completely wrong. It might be just a loved one. It might be a daughter. It might be a cousin. But there is somebody in your family that you need to be defensive with right now. It's going to have a happy outcome. You're going to have long-term success with it. With the Ten of Pentacles, things are going to work out okay. But right now, it's just going to be a bit tough. You might be defending some of your financial situation as well. And then you've got the High Priestess. You need to use your intuition of where to go. On the bottom of the deck, you've got the Page of Wands. Okay, you need to find a new way of handling things. So the Seven of Wands is all about you having to, to defend something. Um, it could be a family member, like I said, but when the Ten of Pentacles come out as well, that this is going to be a successful outcome. But this might be that you're defending some kind of money situation as well. You could be defending something in your business. You could be defending something to do with an ex-partner. Um, but there's something there to do with uh, money. And I feel like money and family that you are having to handle right now. And you are having to defend yourself. Do not back down. Because you need to use your intuition and your intuition is telling you that you are right and that this is the way that it should go. And there are people going to be telling you that it's wrong and that you shouldn't because it's going to hurt them. But if you do it their way, it's going to hurt you. So you need to use your intuition and use your inner guidance. You have all the knowledge and everything else that you need to get through this is within you. So get quiet, get your mind quiet, meditate, ask the angels, whatever it is that you need to do. Just go and speak to your angels and ask what direction you need to go in. Okay, because you know that this situation is going to have a happy outcome. It's going to have long term success. But I feel that you are defending something to do with family and money or one of, or money or, or family or both together. I've got a feeling there's energy of a business here and maybe business with a family and they want to close it down and you don't or something along those lines but you're defending it right now and it's going through a really tough time because I feel like it's a ripple effect it's not just one simple thing it's affecting a lot of different areas in your life so with the page of wands coming out um it's about finding new ways of um new ideas to be able to get through this okay you're you know that you you know what you need to do that's best for you but you need to find a new, you might need to find a new way of doing it. So if this is a business that you need to walk away from, then you need to walk away from it and find a new way of doing a business that you want to do. Okay, you, 
a bit carefree there. You're like, I, ju I just need to go and follow what I need to go and follow. I need to go and do what I need to go and do. I feel I've got that energy. You just need to go and do what you need to do and you need to defend that. And that is going to bring you a lot of long-term success, even if people don't feel that it will. But keep listening to you. Keep listening to that little niggle that you've got to keep moving forward. So, Angel Spirit guys, what else do we need to know today, please? Oh, one's flipped. Where are you? Where are you? Right, I don't read reversals if you see me flip them. So we've got the full card. You're about to take a leap of faith. This is going to be a new beginning for you, and that is what you're defending. People want you to stick with the old you, the wheel of fortune. Things are going to turn in your favour. It's all going to work out perfectly well for you, but you just need to follow your inner guidance. Okay, one, okay. And the three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck we've got the chariot card so the fall is about starting something new it's a new beginning um, and it's taking that leap of faith and i think that's what you need to do people are holding you back from your new beginning and this is what you're defending and it's got something to do with money family business that's all the messages that i'm getting money family business Maybe there is a family business that you don't want to follow and you want to do something else and that's what you're defending where people are getting upset about it. That's what the ripple effect is. And even though people are going to be upset, you've got to do what's best for you. So sometimes you might just, well, not sometimes, you do. You need to jump. You need to take that leap of faith. Okay, you just need to go for it. It's going to be a brand new beginning for you. It's going to have a lot of success. And you've also got the Wheel of Fortune too. So, you know, two... Three major arcana cards here. Four major arcana cards, sorry. So this is the Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to start turning in your favour. Um, this is good karma. L your luck is about to change. You've done everything you can in the position that you're in and there's no more for you and it's making you feel tiresome and unfulfilled and miserable and snappy and grouchy and grumpy and all any other words that you want to use. Um, and, but that's all about to start changing now. Your luck is about to change. As soon as you take that leap of faith, the universe will start moving in your favour. You've also got the three of pentacles and this is about working together as a team. And I feel that for some of you, the people that you're working with now do not want to work as a team. They just want to work solely for themselves and expect everybody else to fall in line. So I feel with this card, if you want to start your own business or you want to go and get a new career, it's about starting, going to find a team that's going to work with you. And that you're going to work with them. It's a team that is going to be equal along each playing field. The team that uh, takes your opinion and, and your your ideas into consideration. But you're going to find those people and it's that's what's going to lead to your success. But you've got the chariot card here and this is about movement. You need to start moving now. It's very well saying it and, and making these plans and defending your right to be able to go and do it. But at the moment you're not doing it. So you need to take that leap and you actually need to start moving towards this thing that you really, really want. Okay, the chariot card is all about leading your own life and I think that's something you want to do. You need to start leading your life, but it's about you actually taking the steps to move. And you don't need to go from A to Z, you just need to go from A to A.1. That's literally it. You just need to do that. Just take one step, but you need to start moving or you're never going to move. Okay, we're going to ask an angels um, a question, ask them any question you want, and then we'll get an answer from the angel answer oracle card deck. So if you don't know your question, then please hit the pause button. Okay, angel spirit guys, what's the answer to the question we're asking, please? What's the answer to the question we're asking, please? You can you show me the card I need to see? You can you show me the card I need to see? Okay. No. That's the answer. If your answer was, should I stay? The answer is no. Or on the bottom of the deck, we've got a year from now. A year from now, your whole life can change. So that's all I've got for you today, my lovelies. Thank you for spending that time for me. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonated with you, then please drop it in the comments below. I read and reply to every single one of my comments. I love to connect with you, so feel free to drop a comment. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that notifi notification bell because it will notify you every single time I upload a video. 
I do them daily, weekly, monthly, and the zodiac signs every single weekend. And it also really helps my channel grow. And thank you for all those that have subscribed so far. My son and I do a little happy dance every single time that we um, we get a subscriber. He wants his own channel. And I said, when I hit a thousand subscribers, we'll talk about it. So thank you so much for bringing a little bit of joy into our life um, each day. I hope that whenever you're watching this, you are having a great day today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.